Does he play too much? Is a player maybe a little controlling? And is a compulsive liar? We're gonna talk about a few more types of guys that you wanna steer clear of. So let's start with the one who plays too much. Is he a goofy? <laughs> yeah, that type of goofy. <laughs> this is the one that it's hard to really have a conversation with and to take real business into consideration because you don't know when they're gonna be serious. It's almost like talking to a big kid. It's hard to take kids serious. Get your foot down off that table. And for some of y'all that have kids or have had kids, y'all know how stressful it is to take care of a child. Do you really want to take care of another one? Because just like Big Sean said. Never pamper, but just like a pamper, he on that child is shit. Yeah. I mean, like, honestly, think about it. Like, you wouldn't give a kid a bunch of money and tell him to go to the store. He's probably going to waste it. So why give a big kid, you know, your man, a bunch of time when he's probably going to waste it? So find somebody who knows how to be humorous, knows how to be funny, but knows how to turn it off. Next, we got the player. We're talking about the one who's had more women around him in his lifetime than Hugh Hefner. A lot of females think they can change this man. You cannot change this man. He's been this way his whole life. Some females think they got these superpowers, right? They'll go in, they think they're gonna change him, and then they end up hurt. And then all of a sudden, he's not a good man. You knew what you were getting into, but you wanted to try to be. And then you wonder, a woman, why you're hurt. That's your fault. Remember, the streets told you that is your man so then next we got the controller literally you don't realize it but the whole time he's doing uh-uh we gotta go down 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 uh-uh you talk too much girl you better mute it all right but mm, jump jump okay back. girl you gotta jump when i say jump the first time uh we gotta go all the way left because you for some reason think you right mm -mm. uh let's see her idea her idea let's keep going till we get to ah my cool. Go to the options menu. Let's see. Listen to me. Listen to me now. Listen to me now. Or I'm gonna dog you out. Um let me just go listen to me now. That one's a little strict. I should have to repeat myself. Alright, cool. He's literally controlling your life because you're giving him the power to do so. Don't let him. And then finally we're gonna talk about the liar. Big fat liar. I know a lot of y'all hate liars i know i do it's so easy it's so free to keep it 100. not even like it's good lying it's not like he's trying to spare your feelings or like he's trying to surprise you with something great like at times you know that he's lying let's just say like he was supposed to be at work he said he was at work all day and you happen to see him at the mall and y'all made eye contact and then when y'all get home you ask him how was his day was and why was he at the mall and he has a beautiful picture with a nice white lie of why he was at work and not at the mall. And you're like, I saw you see me see you. You wanna know why? Because this costs too much for him. And in a sense, it costs too much for you too. Cause you tired of your time being wasted and you tired of having little arguments, it's not worth the drag. So to recap, if he plays too much, if he was a player, he's a controller, and if he's a compulsive liar, you gotta leave him alone. Now, if you missed part one, click here. And here are other types you wanna avoid. And if you wanna hear types of women to avoid, click here. It's pretty funny. Don't forget to leave a comment. And of course, subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next one.